everybody, I feel like I have to say teacher Grace here. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about your very, very first VIP kid class ever. You've gotten a booking, you're super excited, but now you realize, oh my gosh, I have to actually teach this, teach this and not mess up and ah! it can be a little bit nerve wracking. So in this video, I'm going to kind of walk you through step by step what you need to do, but remember to breathe. So I'm going to kind of do an overview of the classroom and then give you some kind of little tricks and tips and stuff specifically for major course classes and trial classes. So whatever it is, you can handle it. So first off, how do you even get into your classroom? Well, easy peasy lemon squeezy, sign in to the website just like you do to set your schedule and up at the top left hand corner there is going to be a tab that says bookings. On that page, once you click it, there's going to be a list of all the bookings you have. You might only have one if you only have booked one, or you might have 25, depending on how many classes you have booked so far. Your next class that you are going to teach, whatever that is, is going to be at the bottom. The class that you are going to teach next will be at the bottom, and the class that you're gonna teach in five days or whenever is gonna be at the top. So on the class that you're going to teach, there's going to be on the right side a couple different buttons like materials, feedback. Click classroom to enter your classroom. Okay? The classroom is exactly like it was when you did your demo lessons. You can enter the classroom whenever you want. I was a little bit confused about that because when you did the demo lessons it was like, you can enter your classroom one hour before. And now, so I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what would happen if I entered the classroom like an hour and a half before? Nothing, nothing would happen. You can, it's fine. There, there might be a counter at the top saying like too early, or it might saying like 15 minutes until your next class, whatever it is, but you can enter. So you can enter and kind of look around the classroom before you actually teach, that's fine. The classroom is basically exactly the same as I said before. At the top, there is going to be top right hand corner, there's going to be some stars. That is the reward system that you can get give out additional to your own reward system. There's going to be an info button that you can click that kind of tells you more about the student. The same information that you can get from the materials button. So it will tell you the student's name and their age, what level they're at. It will also have previous feedback from previous teachers so you can kind of get to know the student before you teach them. There's also going to be two different contact fireman buttons if you have any technical difficulties or your student does. And then, in order to get the slides, which works exactly like the demos, you are going to click Documents. You're also going to click Upload by yourself. And voila, there are your slides that you need. You don't have to download anything and then upload it yourself. That's what confused me as well. Do I have to download the material so you, and then upload it because it says upload by me? No, it will be there. And if for any chance there's anything wrong with that, like it's the wrong set of slides, contact the fireman and they should be able to switch that out for you. That is for major course classes. If it is a trial course, it's slightly more confusing, but really not confusing. There is going to be, instead of just having the one set of slides for upload myself, there's going to be like 12 to 15 because there are a lot of levels or trial classes. So all you have to do is if you are looking for level two, unit one, just look through the list and find level two, unit one and click add. Those will open. And during the lesson, if you need to switch those out for any reason, you just click documents, upload myself and find the level that you're looking for. Trial classes are not in order. So if you're looking for level two, unit one, which is the very, very first level, don't click the top one necessarily because it's probably not it. That might be level four, unit seven. Okay, so make sure you read. I don't know why they're not in order. Seems like a pretty easy thing to just put them in order, but for some reason they're not, so it's fine. Just make sure you read through all of them. For major course classes, most likely the student is gonna know the drill. They're gonna know that there's a song at the beginning. They're gonna know that they're supposed to repeat you. They're gonna know how to use the screen. So in that regard, it's the pressure's kind of off because your student is gonna kind of know the drill. With trial classes, this might be the very first time they've ever done any kind of online work, and I'm going to do a trial video in the next coming days, coming weeks. Um, but trial trials can be 
super easy or they can be challenging. When you are done with the class and you have said bye bye, the easiest thing is to first turn off your camera and then exit the classroom. You can also turn off the camera and then add feedback. Just make sure that you are aware that your mic is still on. The student might take 10 seconds to get out of the classroom, so don't be like, oh, I hated that kid. Not that you would ever do that. Don't ever do that. But make sure you are aware until you actually exit the classroom, the student could hear what you're saying if they're still in the classroom, okay? So a lot of times what I like to do is when I finish a class, I don't usually add feedback right away because I'm usually teaching classes back to back to back and I'm not to the point where I can just like copy and paste. So I will exit the classroom if, and then I'll probably have five minutes until my next class. So I'll take my phone and I will record like what I thought, what my thoughts were on the class. And then after I'm done doing all my teaching, then I go back and I add the feedback and I have these nice little voice memos. But you can add the feedback immediately. Just make sure, as I said, that the student has left the classroom if you start talking to yourself, okay? Make sure you add the feedback. Add the feedback within 12 hours or you lose some money. So there you go. I hope this was helpful for you for your first class. Good luck if you have any questions. Please comment down below and I also have my referral link. I will gladly be your referral teacher. I will answer your questions, chat with you, whatever. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.